Hey Aquarius, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology doing your September 2019 tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. As always, I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. So I already pre-shuffled and laid out the cards. So let's take a look and see what's happening for Aquarius. All right, so overseeing the reading. Whoa, we got Between Worlds. New Life. Whoa, loving it. And Regeneration. Wow. September is going to be a really big month. Some of you are making a transition. Okay, leaving things behind. Leaving some things behind that are just not working for you. No good. These could be belief systems, ways of doing things. Um, relationships, people, jobs, whatever it is, and you're moving into something, a brighter future, okay? Now, some of you might be feeling this already, like this shift, this shift of like moving from one place to another. Now, some of you, this could be feeling a little bit, like some of you may have been feeling a little bit confused or maybe feeling like, like something is changing in you. And like you're, you're changing your perspective, you're changing a lot of things and you're between worlds, the old you and the new you. Wow. And then we can see this clearly because we got the new life. There's like some new energy flowing in, something big life changing coming in for you guys, whether it's a new job, a new relationship, a new life, a new way of looking at things you're like leaving the old way behind and moving into this new positive energy i mean look at her she's like yes i mean it's a new life and these are both three cards this is a nine and a three and a three so a lot of you are about communications local travel about writing anything like that um Getting, to, getting information to and from. Some of you might be starting a new job in that kind of area. But I see a regeneration here. It's interesting because this is really quite powerful. There's this shift happening, this new life and regeneration of new things beginning, new energy. Everything that was destroyed, burnt down to the ground. You know, this is like a Pluto card. Burn it to the ground, get rid of it, and now new branches are growing, new new way of being, new belief systems, like I said, new everything, regeneration, the old you is now being reborn. And there's a, this is really, really, really powerful. There's a big shift happening for you all. This is awesome. So let's take a look and see what the rest of the cards are saying here. Wow. <laughs> we start with the ace of water, new big love, next to the nine of fire, king of water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, the Hierophant, Two of Fire, Seven of Water, Four of Fire, and the Call. Okay. I feel for a lot of you that are involved with the water sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, moon, or rising, you have to know the birth time to know. They could be an air sign, a fire sign, any sign. Once a serious commitment in marriage with you, and you're going to get the call, or you're going to talk about it, or they're going to bring it up, or something's going to happen here. They're waking up to the fact that they want a serious commitment, marriage, happy home, family, whatever. A lot of you might be getting proposed to by a water sign, sun, moon, or rising. And you might be feeling a little bit unsure of what it is you want to do. Now, you're looking at the future here. You definitely want to start something new. Some of you might have two opportunities or two options that you're choosing from. Some of you are just like, wow, did this just happen? There's the Ace of Water and the Nine of Fire. So there's been some difficulty that you guys have been going through. Okay being a little defensive, protective. Maybe you guys have been a little protective. Maybe the other person has. But there's a new start to a big love thing and a marriage and a commitment moving in together for a fire, happy home, happy everything. Um, and feeling a little bit like this is a big decision to make. This is a big decision to make. It's a big freaking decision. It's a big freaking decision, but somebody really loves you and wants this. And it looks like it's this water sign, sun, moon, or rising, 
Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And there's a big love opportunity here, but this Nine of Fire is telling me that some of you might be a little bit um, protecting yourself a little bit, or maybe you're going to be feeling like you don't know exactly. I don't think you're going to just jump in. I think you're definitely going to be thinking and evaluating it. It's not for those of you that are in love with this water sign person. It's been through some difficult times of you trying to get through to this person, and now they're. It seems like they got it. Now, because it's the Ace of Water, and it's the Four of Fire and the Hierophant. I'm going to say it's a love reading. But if we, because of the fact that the Ace of Water is emotional and steeply emotional, and it's the ultimate love partner, it's a soulmate card. So some of you are going to be getting, okay, those of you that this applies with this water sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you guys are going to be getting engaged in September and perhaps married or moving in together. And, or somebody wants to do that. You guys are going to be making the move, or they're going to be making the move, whatever it's going to be. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot going on in your mind. There's a lot going on in their mind. There's a lot going on. It's a lot of like evaluation thinking. I don't feel like so much, this is so much confusion, this particular reading, as I feel like it's like starting together something and starting a bunch of things together, projects together, like just like look at what we can do together. I don't know why I'm getting that from this card as opposed to the confusion. I feel like it's more like options of what you guys can do together. And it's been a struggle to get here, but now it's like, I mean, new life between worlds. You're leaving your old world behind, moving into new life regeneration. Some of you may have had separation with this person and now you've been coming back together. There's like a renewal a renewal, a revel revelation of like, let's do this, let's get together, this is it. Okay, so for those of you that this particular reading applies, some of you are going to be getting engaged, moving in together. And your love advice card is back to what you love. It says your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. So this is interesting because of those of you that are, you know, restarting or rekindling or started something new with the water sign, sun, moon, or rising. But again, it doesn't have to be. These are general readings. Could be a Taurus. Could be any, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It's sun, moon, or rising. You have to know the birth time. But it's really somebody's seeing like, you know, this is what I want. This is what I love. This, this time period that I've been taking for myself, thinking whatever. There's a new whole new beginning happening here and it's a new life a new happy relationship marriage family life and for those of you that this does apply I just want to tell you congratulations congratulations because this is definitely 100% a love reading of somebody who is making the next step who is getting who's moving into a commitment of some sort with the love of their life or of a soulmate person and there's going to be a conversation, a proposal, or something about that here. We got the sextile, which is an opportunity presenting itself to you in September. Hmm. There's a new life. Okay, so for those of you that aren't, this isn't a love relationship that you're in and you're single and you don't have anybody. This is a new person coming in for you that is going to be like, I want a commitment with you, a serious commitment coming for you. Okay, for those of you that aren't involved with somebody and it's going to be a water sign, sun, moon, or rising in this particular reading if this resonates and it's an opportunity to start a new love relationship. You're going to be leaving the old behind and having a new life, a new love type of relationship. Now... This new life in between worlds and regeneration also could be regarding new jobs. It's going to be a new life, new energy, new energy. We got the fifth house of love, romance, creativity, self-expression, and children. Passion. It's an opportunity for passion coming in for you guys in September. Those of you that are involved with somebody already or been going in and out or whatever, there's a whole new beginning starting and it's moving into something very serious. 
Wow. This is amazing. This is just amazing. This is definitely love for a lot of you guys, okay? Definitely love for a lot of you guys. A new love for, for those of you that are single and for those of you that have been dealing with a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, it's a commitment coming through, a proposal. <laughs> wow. Those of you that have been following me for a while, this person has been showing up for a little bit. So, um... I hope this resonates, or for those of you that this does resonate with, congratulations. For those of you that it doesn't, there's a new love coming in. There's an opportunity presenting itself, new energy, a new shift coming through for you guys in September. So no matter what, it's going to be good. It's awesome. Okay? It's fabulous. Um, so I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm sending you guys positive energy as always. Um, and... If this doesn't resonate with you, check your rising sign or your moon sign because your messages could very well be there. Um, and I'm probably going to do another reading for you guys that if this one does not resonate with you, that you can find helpful after I do the rest of the September ones for all the other signs. So again, thank you so much as always for joining me. If you like your own personal reading, please visit my site at www.alumastrology.com or you can read all about astrology or order tarot readings and see what I offer, anything like that. Again, lots of love to you. Until next time.